McEwen Mining Inc. is listed on the New York Stock Exchange and the Toronto Stock Exchange with the ticker symbol MUX. Uh, McEwen Mining aims to be in the S&P 500 and I'm very pleased to welcome Rob McEwen via Spike. Hello Rob. How are you Tim? Now um, there's some, been some significant success with McEwen Mining uh, in terms of silver and gold, cash in the bank. Can you quickly just run through the highlights for the last quarter? Sure. Uh, we had record production, um, both our gold and our silver was up, our costs were down, our treasury is now expanded to 33 million, um, which is the highest point it's been in about a year and a half, two years. Uh, and we're looking at making guidance this year for our gold and silver production um, and continuing lower costs. Uh, we had an unfortunate incident earlier this year with a gold theft. Some banditos with heavy weapons came in and we just collected the insurance on that recently. So that bolstered our treasury. We're exploring uh, in Mexico and Nevada. We have two feasibility studies coming out in the next six months and resource updates. So everything's going well. Now one of the interesting things, you know, right now you could consider yourself a, a junior miner and producer, but you're actually paying a dividend. Yes. So which is quite, quite rare for a, a junior company to be paying a dividend on top of the cash in the bank and the, and the excellent production results. Well, when I was running Gold Corp, I initiated a dividend policy. We started paying once a year and then twice a year and then quarterly and then every month. And I, my view of dividends, it's economic rent being paid to the shareholders while they're waiting for a higher share price. And it's discipline for management, basically telling them, you don't get to use all this money, you have to give some of it back to the shareholders each, each year. Now, one of your mantras has always been that the shareholder is the principal value of the company. So that's very evident in, the, in that shareholder return. How do you see uh, right now, are you a gold guy or are you a silver guy right now? I know you're very bullish on gold, but you're also producing silver. Could I say I'm a precious metal guy? Precious metals guy. And I've noticed the US Mint's bullion sales for last month were astonishing. They've trebled and doubled gold and silver respectively. There are a lot of dollars being printed and people don't want to hold them. So why, why do you see people looking at the bullion value over the value of your company? I think everybody right now is thinking it's better to be in the broad equity markets. The central bankers around the world are omnipotent and they can solve any problem that's out there and we don't have to worry. We're back into the complacency of 06 through 08 and then bang, something comes along to change that. Now, people may remember some time ago when you were with Gold Corp, you were stockpiling gold and at one stage you had more gold stockpiled than 50 of the world's central banks. Do you see lightning striking McEwen in the same place like Benjamin Franklin and you coming back into that position where you're stockpiling gold to that extent? Well, like Ben Franklin, I'm still holding that rod up in the sky and waiting for the lightning storm to come. <laughs> It would be lovely to get a discovery like we had at Gold Corp and certainly that's what keeps me in the business that there are many discoveries I think still to be made and I hope to be part of some of them. Um, and if we got into a position where we had profitability like Gold Corp used to, that stockpiling the metals I think is a very wise decision. Well, you're still exploring and your gold grades are increasing at El Gayo, so there is the prospectivity for uh, much more efficient production and, and much more higher quality production out of Mexico. That's true. That's true. No, I think companies, rather than selling their gold, we, we held it because you could liquefy it, monetize it in two days, you could borrow it against it instantly, um, and if it was going up in value, you're, you're building more wealth for your shareholders. And those were all the considerations back then. So. I I know that was back then, but even right now, do you see value in McEwen Mining stockpiling gold in the short term in order to increase the value of the company? Because we're faced with this perception in the market, the equities market, that uh, 
the miners aren't really worth the value that they have in the ground. And, and how do you see that being addressed? Or how, what kind of solutions can we put out to the, to the market? Well, for us, we're looking at smaller uh, CapEx projects, less capital intensive, and like everyone else, trying to get it dealt with at lower operating costs. Um, the investor will come back when they can see there's a chance of making money in the market. I think we're very close to the bottom of the market. Um, you're seeing numbers in Australia and Canada looking quite impressive just because of the swing in the exchange rate. I mean, there are a lot of guys starting to make good money right now. And there's a little bit of consolidation taking place, which I think will accelerate and add a few more discoveries. And people go, I can make money here. I'm going to buy gold stocks, silver stocks. Hmm. But looking at holding bullion, I think everybody, <laughs> they don't have a lot of money right now. And they may have some projects. And they've they'd probably be better served putting in the money in the projects right now. Would you like to address the, um, the NYSE? Uh, you're under a dollar a share and it was a 30 day time period on that. I know it must feel very disappointing that that's happened. Do you see yourself delisting from the NYSE or is there a chance that you, you will be able to preserve that? Well, I think, I think there's a good chance we'll be able to preserve our listing there. Um, I happen to believe, one, we're near the bottom of the gold market, two, uh, we're in a cyclical low being summer in North America. Um, September is usually a stronger month than the fall. Uh, our story has improved significantly. We've been down below a dollar twice before. Um, and the first time we ran up 26 times from that point, and the second time we ran up 22 times. So I think we have another chance of running back up to nine, ten dollars. In your view, right now, um, uh, on the value of the assets, the cash in the bank, your production figures for the year, what would you say would be a reasonable uh, estimation of the value of the company, and not in terms of the market, but what you would look at a stock value for the company? Oh well, I feel more comfortable with the value at around a dollar fifty. As, as in this environment, um, we have this large copper deposit in Argentina. There's an election coming up in October. There'll be primaries this August, so you get an indication of what's happening to, uh, in terms of future direction in Argentina. Um, there is a copper project comparable to us called um, Taka Taka, was sold earlier, well, late last year. Um, for $420 million. It's about two thirds, uh, about a third larger than us. So we have value there of more than $200 million. Our current market cap is 270, and that's two other gold mines and 138,000 uh, ounces of gold a year coming out. Back with Gold Corp, I remember that one of the strategies there to increase the value of Gold Corp was become a multi-metal. So you brought in copper acquisitions and you demonstrated there was a multiplication factor when you combined what the existing gold that you had and then you brought in copper as well which gave you a multiple value on the market. Yes. yes. So this could quite well happen with McEwen bringing copper in and diversifying your portfolio. It could. Uh, we're not, we don't have a revenue stream from this copper deposit. I was hoping more to monetize it and cover off all of my development capital needs. Um, but at the same more... time, you're still, he you're still, hedging's a bad word, but you're still providing investors with more security in terms of a diversified portfolio, aren't you? Absolutely. Mm. Yes. Copper, silver, and gold. Uh, we have a very high beta to gold, uh, 2.7 times, which is one of the higher ones in the universe of precious metal companies. Uh, so if someone's looking for a company that doesn't have any debt, that is producing gold at a profit today, has a large insider shareholder, and responds well to an increase in gold price, they should look at us. Absolutely. Rob McEwen, Chief Owner and President of McEwen Mining, uh, listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange TSC and the New York Stock Exchange MUX is the ticker code. Thank you very much for joining us, Rob.
Cheers, Tim.